Hi everyone, welcome to today's reading of Emma's Grouping by J.L. Cornish. This is the fourth book in a series of stories where Emma learns about multiplication and division. If you love this story, don't forget to like this video, subscribe to this channel and visit the teacher author website where you can find a range of stories that all include free discussion questions and learning activities. Let's read. Emma was a little girl who loved challenging her mind. She always loved to learn about whatever she might find. And now Emma was learning about something new. She was learning about grouping and finding the total too. Like when it was time for breakfast, Emma loved to make pancakes. She was cooking for her family, so she needed six round plates. She divided all the pancakes by sharing one by one. She kept putting one on each plate until she was left with none. Emma had finished sharing and she saw six plates of three. But how many pancakes were there for all her family? She looked down at the groups and knew one way to count. She counted each pancake one by one, so 18 was the amount. Later, she went to the shops to buy some fruit for snacks. She grabbed some juicy strawberries that were inside little packs. Emma saw that each pack had five berries inside. There were four packs in her trolley, so she had four groups of five. She could count each berry one by one and find the total without doubt but could she use another way to work the total out? Instead, she could count by fives and skip count all the packs. Five, 10, 15, 20, 20 strawberries for snacks. That afternoon, she went outside to pick some of her peas. The plants had grown so very tall since they were tiny seeds. She could see all of the peas were planted into rows. She wondered how many plants in all that she had tried to grow. She saw that each row had nine plants growing tall. There were three rows of nine, but how could she count them all? She knew that nine was close to ten, and three tens are thirty. So if she took three away, then twenty-seven there would be. Emma was so proud that she saw some different ways to work out the total of the groups she saw throughout the day. So the next time you see equal groups, you might be able to find some different ways to see them that will challenge your mind. That brings us to the end of today's read aloud of Emma's grouping. I love how Emma learned lots of different strategies to work out the total of equal groups. Next time you are multiplying, you might be able to use what you know about numbers to work out the total, just like Emma did with the array of plants. Don't forget, if you loved this story, then like this video and subscribe to this channel so that you can stay up to date with new read-alouds. Thanks for listening and we'll see you at our next read-aloud.